The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, the championship is on the line here tonight. And in looking at the opposition, I can say that the champion will have quite the hill to climb in this one. He's been undergoing a lot of training for tonight, not taking this title opportunity lightly. Well, the Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. The Messiah in his kingdom. Seth Rollins at the showcase of the Immortals. Oh, get up. Michael, you of all people have to remember the heist of the century when Rollins cashed in his money in the bank at WrestleMania 31. He'd go on to defeat Triple H at WrestleMania 33, but the highlights don't stop there, Byron. No, Rollins won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania 34 won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 35, and Rollins is guaranteed to perform another WrestleMania miracle tonight. Introducing the challenger from Beverly Hills, California, weighing in at 290 pounds, Matt. And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Seth Rollins! That's what it's all about, the WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity. Now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. The road to WrestleMania has led to this. The defending WWE Champion Seth Rollins will take on his former associate, a superstar who some have called the Grave Digger, due to his vicious pledge to bury Seth Rollins once and for all in tonight's no DQ WWE Championship match. One of WWE's most fearsome alliances has been shattered by the quest for this WWE Championship, Michael. 
you have to wonder how those betrayals will affect the outcome of one of the most personal WrestleMania main events we've seen in years. You're talking about Murphy, Austin Theory, and Mustafa Ali, aren't you, Byron? That's right. They've all got something on the line tonight in what should be an absolutely brutal no disqualification format. Listen, sometimes the only road to WrestleMania is the low road. Seth Rollins and his opponent know that, but only one of them will leave WrestleMania as champion. He steps foot in the ring again. Oh, man. Impressive reversal on Rollins. Oh, the hit's adding up a little on the champ. Countered it just in time. Oh, a knee right to the face. Oh, man. Ducking out of trouble. are whittling down. Rollins has to devise a new plan. What's he putting together? Yeah. Hold on, it's Seth Rollins' disciples. Well, last we knew, they weren't medically cleared to be here. Looks like they're going to get revenge for what was done to them on Raw with that shovel. Never underestimate the Monday Night Messiah. We should have known he wasn't going into this match without a backup plan. I know there's been a lot of turmoil between these men, and this is no disqualification, but this is WrestleMania. It's not supposed to end like this. This is going to get ugly. I can't watch. What the hell? What just happened? champion it looks like we have a new alliance with a new leader i think we just saw the birth of a new monday night messiah and seth rollins can't believe it he thought he had the match and his wwe championship secured but that was not the case the new champion set out to bury him and that is exactly what he just did this is a wrestlemania moment that will be remembered for a very long time i'm in shock wow uh, congrats to the new champion i guess
The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the WWE Championship. Yeah, now we're talking. A title match that could see the crowning of a new champion. The WWE Universe is buzzing. The competitors tonight will not disappoint. They have been waiting weeks to settle the score and finally determine who is worthy of that title. Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong. Well, the Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. Seth Rollins has had many disciples, fellow superstars, tag teams, even a referee. Yeah, but I think it's only a matter of time before his disciples see through his facade. Oh, apropos coming from you, Saxon, the fact is this, anyone who loses sight of the vision, quite simply, is a false prophet. Introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! And introducing the champion from Beverly Hills, California, weighing in at 290 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Max the Savage! To hold one of the biggest titles in WWE means you're one of the best in the industry. Tonight, the Monday Night Messiah will preach his gospel from inside a steel cage as he tries to win back his title from the newly minted WWE Champion, who has proven time and time again he may very well be the most powerful man in all of WWE. 
There's nothing like strength in numbers, Michael, and the WWE Champion has that in spades with three new disciples in his corner. I just don't see a world where Murphy, Austin Theory, and Mustafa Ali don't find a way to get involved tonight, lock cage or not. Yeah, yeah, everyone in the WWE Universe has been talking about the shovel heard round the world at WrestleMania, but the reality is the new WWE Champion has been the man to beat all by himself. Oh, no, he comes off the cage and lands right back in the ring. Sometimes opportunities can backfire like that. Oh, my goodness, lost into the cage. Double A drop. The challenger's looking shaken. on display here tonight. Takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. Seth Rollins can't be pleased with his performance here tonight. He won't be.
Well, misery loves company. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 410 pounds, Max the Savage and Mandy Rose. Oh boy, I thought these two were already insufferable. Now we gotta see them together on my screen. Prepare to see a lot more of them, Saxton, because these two are the future of mixed tag wrestling. Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford! A little known fact, while Montez might have learned his discipline serving our country, he actually learned to dance from me. Really? That's right. I knew you were talented, Corey, but that's pretty amazing. You are so full of it, Corey. Unstoppable enthusiasm for competition. Cup in hand, ready for a good time. But we'll throw hands at any time. <laughs> Here comes the EST of WWE. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair could do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. Raw's general manager, Mandy Rose, and the WWE Champion are teaming up to take on Bianca Belair and Montez Ford after Mandy's had some issues with Bianca as of late. I'm not sure why Mandy chose the WWE Champion. Is there something developing between these two? It's simple. Mandy chose her partner because he's the WWE Champion. As far as I know, there's nothing else going on here. Let's keep it professional, Saxton. Jumping knee drop! So precise. He's absorbed some damage already. Rip it at the eyes. No breaker. And Ford's resolve might be wavering here. Somehow Montez has to turn the tide. With the Lariat. A set out Matt Slam. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Rescinded right back. Ah, that one scouted. She tagged out, but if you ask me, I think her opponent wanted a break too. Double underhook applied. Oh, 
Butterfly suplex. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Oh, look at his aggression, just pure brutality. Oh, oh, easy. He turns it around. He's getting 
getting a little battered now. Dodges. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Oh, impressive counter. German suplex. But that's not all. And a ripcord lariat. What a combination. And Mandy Rose. Two great superstars that go great together. And that win is proof. That wasn't just a win, Cole. That was a top-level tag team performance. Take it from a former NXT tag champ.